Layers in SketchUp are an often overlooked feature. Layers essentially control what parts of your model you want shown and what parts of your model you want hidden. You can have just about as many layers as you want and you can put whatever you want on each layer. I typically use layers to show options in kitchen designs. It's very handy to be able to present a kitchen and with the click of the mouse, toggle on and off different options your client might be interested in. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this using a simple example. Let's say you have this kitchen here with a drawer base, but your client wants to see what a regular door and drawer cabinet will look like. The first thing we need to do is set up your layers. Open your layers window by going to Window, and then to Layers. You can see that we only have the default layer here. Click the plus icon to create a new layer. Let's name this layer Drawer Base Option. Now, now click the plus again to make another layer called Door and Drawer Option. Now that we have our layer set, the first thing we want to do is to move this drawer base onto a layer. To do this, we're going to need to turn on another toolbar. Go to your View menu, and then to Toolbars, and select Layers. On the Mac, you do this in the same area under the option Tool Palettes. There, just drag Layers onto your toolbar. Now you can see that we have the layer selector on our toolbar. Next, we need to select the drawer base with the arrow tool. Once you have it highlighted, use the layer tool to change it from layer 0 to the drawer base option layer. Now, if I select the cabinet next to it, you can see that it's on layer 0. And when I select our drawer base, you can see up here that it is on the drawer base option layer. Now that I've done that, I can hide the layer whenever I want. You do this in the layers window by simply unchecking that layer. Now that I've hidden that layer, I can go ahead and place my door and drawer base. I want to have this on the door and drawer option layer. All I have to do is highlight the cabinet and select the layer I want it on. Now I can toggle each layer on and off. There is no limit to how many objects you can have in a layer. You can add them as you go along or all at once. I use this feature all the time to show different options, whether it's different islands, decorations, or cabinets. There is one last thing you should know if you use scenes in your model. As you create scenes, they remember all of the settings of the current view, including what layers are shown or hidden. You can turn this setting off so that when you change scenes, your layer settings always stay the same. To do this, open your scenes window, go to each scene you, you've created, and uncheck the setting for visible layers. Now, when you add or change scenes, they'll always show the last settings you left your layers on. This is a great way to give the presentation and then show the options as you go along. 